Pavlov, hello. Hello. how you doing? Hello. Mr. X here, whose audience has a very big grudge against me. Yeah? You know? They're hating you on the, they do, on the comments. They do, they do. Oh, well. uh, but that's okay, that's okay. You know, there's no such thing as bad press, as I like to say. Uh, yeah, so you asked me about Zubida a while ago. Yeah, I saw you on the live stream there and getting bummed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, Zubida uh, has a zero tolerance policy for your mama jokes in her stream, but in real life, she, you know, it's okay, it's perfectly fine. Because I heard Walla Walla making your mama, your mama jokes all day, every day that I see him. It's Tommy Robinson, oh, oh, your mama, your boozy mama, Walla Walla, like stuff like that. He makes it all the time. I never saw Zubida get triggered because of that. But she kicked me because I made a your mama joke to a guy who was messing with me. Uh, anyway, it's all good. It's all That's good. all good fun and games, man. Live streams. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at all. It's just funny. I just find it pretty. What's, that, what's been happening here? Anyway? You've been going to uh, all these protests and stuff, the ones uh, yeah, during yeah, the week. Yeah, yeah, It's fucked up, man. Uh, you know, I used to criticize the protests for having shitty leadership. Um, and I thought to myself that if the leadership is better, then they'll, they'll do better. But uh, I had a rude awakening in the last protest because the police did a specific tactic, which is they would rush in, grab the main speaker and then rush out. And the crowd couldn't do shit because we were peaceful protesters. We weren't like BLMs. We didn't come with baseball bats and crowbars to uh, defend ourselves from the police or like the DFLA with broken bottles and shit. We didn't come with any of that. So, you know, it just happened. Uh, I think it's fucked up. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. Uh, and the police is here once again. Uh, I don't know what they're doing here. I mean, we got all this, these people coming to the cafe. Uh, nothing is closed. There's people in the Imam Balach over there, big crowds. But no, they for some reason, they're triggered about this small crowd of uh, 10 to 20 people that, that is here because of Speaker's Corner. I think their objectives are clear. It's just to silence people. That's all they want to do. It's not about COVID anymore. It's all about silencing people. You know? What are they trying to accomplish? Huh? What are they trying to accomplish we're well, trying to accomplish well the police isn't trying to accomplish anything they're just following orders <laughs> that's why i don't follow stuff like oh the police they're all pigs they're all pigs blah 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 yeah sure there's plenty of police that are pieces of shit you know now now more than ever i realize that the, the police tried to shrug under the rug what happened to me uh but at the same time <clears throat> excuse me at the same time you know it's um it's the rules that are shitty. You know, uh, Boris Johnson is uh, uh, becoming more and more of a weasel. You know, he's just swinging wherever the wind blows. Um, in this country, you know, it's just, um, it's not going well, man. It's not going well. Our freedoms are being eroded with every passing day. There's less and less and less freedoms. And people are like, oh, sure, it's just a conspiracy theory. Not, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, sure. You might have called conspiracy theory that we can't uh, criticize a certain decision by the state or or else we get uh, censored and we can't protest it or else we get imprisoned like a year ago you might say that a year ago and now uh, is, does it look like a conspiracy theory to you it doesn't to me because i've seen people get the shit kicked out of them both by the police and by thugs that are linked to the police like the policeman's son who uh, led the attack against me um and you know fantasy has become reality Yes. How's, how's, the, how's the progress? How's the progress on your? Um, oh, it's good. Thing. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. This doesn't hurt at all anymore. So it's basically healed. But what about your quest for justice? Oh yeah, about that. Uh, I'll have to call them again because they haven't contacted me in like a week or so, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, I don't remember exactly the last day they sent me an email, so I'll contact them about that. But Are they look, taking it seriously? Or? Yeah, I mean, look, they told me they were taking it seriously, but then again, <laughs> they told me at the same day that they uh, recorded everything. And look, look, look at those guns. Look at them. Look at them. And now, now they're driving here to kind of intimidate us. Then they're gonna leave their car and they're gonna be like, go home, guys, go home. No, look, 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 they're going straight here. They're going straight here. Going right here, yeah. uh, you know, unbelievable, unbelievable bullshit. I mean, why? Why? There's bigger crowds over there on that side. So why are they coming here? I just don't get it. I miss PC Barnes, even though even though he's also not making that much of a big difference about this, but at least he's trying something. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks. Ah, don't forget to roast me on the comments, guys. I love that shit. <laughs>